That's why I keep preaching it on all levels of saying, hey, did you ever take a minute to define your own success? Hmm. Not your parents' success for you, not what your parents want for you, not what your spouse wants for you, not what your best friends want for you, not what the industry standard is, but just have you ever defined what your success is, would be for you, right. and then chase that. Guess what? It ain't guaranteed you're going to get it because your success still might be. I want to be Usher. I want to be, you know, her. I want to be Lady Gaga. I want to be, that, that, and no problem. That's fine. But have you ever taken a minute to just define it? And, and really, in all honesty, I mean, Drew, you, you were there to see the huge pivot that I was making. Once again, define your success before you let someone else define what your success is. It might sound crazy, but you have a better chance of getting at a place where like, you know what, I might be good. <laughs> I might be all right, you know what I'm saying? And that's in relationships, that's in parenting, that's in every aspect you can think of because we live most of our lives trying to one, please our parents. We live most of, half of our life trying to please our friends. The perception that they, they have for us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And guess what? Like it gets to a point where it's like, I see what I might need to do to get a Bentley, but would that make me happy? Right. I see what it might do to get whatever. And I'm not saying to be be like passive and be like acceptance of like just the norm, right? Because truth be told, how does things become the norm? Things weren't the norm before they were the, the norm. Kanye West music became the norm, but it wasn't the norm before he, before he, before it became the norm, right? So when you're thinking out the box, when you're doing something different, Jarrell, you got a whole thing we're doing with uh, vegan uh, vendor machines. Someone will say, why would you do a vegan vendor machine? You can put some Oreos in it. You got to think out the box. But then 10 years from now, where there's vegan vendor machines at every single rest stop, it's the norm. So we got to define our own success and chase it. It ain't guaranteed, but there's a better chance that you'll be in a place of like, not, not on the racetrack that ain't yours. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll also realize what you're supposed to really be praying for. I said, I said the other day, I'm thankful God didn't answer the prayers that were temporary. Come on now. Say that again. Ooh, let me write that down. <laughs> Because I'm praying, I'm praying to get what you want me to have. Once I finally moved all out the way, it's like, all right, what do I want? Can you say that again so I can post it? Yes. And give me absolutely no credit. Work with it. That's why I say all the time. I don't want to use that and give no credit. Uh, no, you got to. I'm thankful. I'm, I'm thankful prayer. God didn't answer my temporary prayers. You know what I'm saying? When I was thinking, when I, before I knew what I wanted. Sitting here second guessing everything going through my mind